Right, so let's just uh, try the stream out for a change. And yeah, this is my uh, first time actually seriously playing uh, Vampire Survivors uh, for a while. So uh, let's grab the Fire Wand. Because that seems uh, like a good idea. Oh boy. So let's just uh, stop around the map and kill everything in your path. Because I think that's what these games are all about. It's just mass slaughter of some mobs. Oh well. So let's just uh, see about getting the uh, level two. Actually, let's go for the Darlick because I think that's a uh, Aurora-based attack, and those are always uh, good in these games, especially at higher levels. See, because I can just walk right into enemies now, and yeah. Oh boy. No. I think this game might uh, end up on the permanent roster. Or something like that. Hmm. It's probably just gonna end up being a game frequently played, though. If I don't die right here, so let's see. Let's try the spinach. Because more damage is always a good thing. Because I think I can just uh, stand right here and I guess uh, only move a little bit. Because, uh, yeah. I think I might need to buff the uh, garlic uh, soon. And I just uh, grab the crown. Actually, you know what? Let's grab the whip. Because I think I need more damage more than anything else. Oh boy. So, let's just uh, stop over here, and yeah. And let's just uh, walk over here, collect all the experience, and uh, hopefully grab a level up soon. This us level up this good, that is. So, let's grab the Shandon Labrador. Well, the Candle Labrador, I think. I don't know how you say that. Oh well, let's just grab it anyways. Because that's uh, more damage for the uh, Aurora. Because I can just stand in that uh, group, of group of enemies and just uh, kill them dead like so. And that's uh, great for uh, picking up experience and let's grab the crown. For yet more experience. Because uh, more experience is always a good thing. And basically anything. And I guess let's try the Hollow Heart. Because uh, more HP is a good thing, too. And let's just grab that health. And just uh, hopefully grab that chicken, like so. Oh boy. So, yeah. And I think, uh, grab the spinach. There's more damage. There's enough incentive to, uh, grab it. Oh boy. Ow. So, I guess I think I might want to try avoiding, uh, that, so, yeah. And I think the enemies have just gotten a bit stronger, so that's going to be an issue. If uh, our damage doesn't increase to uh, match. Though I think it's an issue of the uh, fire wand not going out where he wants it to go. So let's uh, grab a magic wand. Because we can always use more projectile weapons. I wonder if the magic wand uh, combines with the fire wand at some point. Hmm. I guess I'll find out uh, later on in this game.
So let's just drop whatever that one was, and now it's the ghost dungeon, and more money is always a good thing. And basically, any issue. Although I don't think it buys you happiness, but it does buy you stability, which can lead into that. Oh boy. So let's drop the duplicator. Because uh, more projectiles is always a good thing. Because that means more damage, which is also a good thing. Hmm. Alright, so let's just uh, walk over here, grab all of that nonsense, and I guess uh, take out that uh, torch for some hit points, which is a good thing. Oh boy. It's uh, one of these uh, things, so let's grab the whip, uh, level 5. Because, uh, yeah. Too bad you can't really aim the whip. It just goes uh, in one direction. Side to side. Or any. Uh, it just goes side to side. So, let's see now. So, let's just uh, hopefully... Get rid of those lights too. And just, uh, I guess, can let down the experience points. Like so. And I guess uh, some of that money. Because that's also a good thing. And let's hopefully avoid uh, walking into enemy enemies. So let's uh, grab the tractor. Actually, you know what? Let's grab the fire wand again. Because, uh, yeah, more damage. And that's the only reason. You know, I wish you had the ability uh, to manually aim these uh, weapons if you wanted to, instead of firing in every which uh, way. Although sometimes it will just uh, end up hitting the places where you actually want it to hit. Oh boy. So let's just uh, put all this experience in, I wish I had a run button, but I don't, so, uh, yeah. And there's a chest on the floor, so, chest for crap clear, and let's see what we get. And I think it's gonna be, uh, whatever that one was. And I don't think I saw it. Oh well, I got somebody in the comments section can tell me. And let's grab the Santa water. Because, uh, yeah, more Aurora is always a good thing. Because, uh, that leads to more damage. Which is a good thing. Although I don't think it just, uh, stays around your character. Which is a bit of a bummer, really. But at least it uh, kills those uh, weak things that come in large groups of cards pretty quick. Now, let's hopefully not die at the first time seriously playing this game. Because, uh, yeah, that would be good. And let's just uh, whatever's in there, and yeah. And I guess let's grab the axe, because I think I'm almost done. Yeah, because look at that health bar drop. Hmm, so I'd like to avoid uh, accidentally killing myself. Because, uh, yeah, that would be good. So let's just uh, walk over here, collect all of this, and I guess uh, stand in the path of the weak and amazing grab the chest. Right, so! And... 
Mm-hmm, <laughs> I think it's this thing again, so let's see now. And it's a Darlink. Level 3, cooldown reduced by 0.1 seconds and damage increased by 1, I think. If I'm not uh, mistaken. Or if my reading comprehension is uh, working correctly, so let's just stand right here and kill almost everything, so that's good. Because that means we can collect all of their experience to become uh, yet more powerful, and hopefully not die. Because, uh, yeah, that would be good. So let's grab the fire wand. Like so, and just stomp around. And collect experience points. Like so, so yeah. Anyway, so. And let's just walk into an enemy and get a game over. So, yeah, I guess uh, that was a vampire survivor, so let's uh, try that one again. And I guess uh, press the start and I guess uh, spend some of that money, so, hmm. Or rather, uh, whatever that's for. I wonder what it's for, anyways. I think it. Oh, yeah, it's for character unlocking. So let's unlock, uh, Gennaro. Oh, let's see. And, but I think I'll try uh, this one now. So let's just uh, start it and I think uh, go for one of the DLC maps. So let's uh, go for Mount Moonspell. Because of why not? Because I guess this is the map, so let's grab some Darlet for yet more damage. Oh yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to upgrade, do a lot of upgrading for that, uh, garlic. Hmm. No, I wonder what music I'm going to, uh, clap on top of this video. Hmm. So, let's try the knife, and... Actually, let's try the laurel. Because uh, that sounds interesting, because it's a shield. Because that means more survivability, and that's always a good thing. Hmm. So, let's see now. I guess, uh, time to stomp around collecting experience, as you often do. And hopefully not die. Because that would be lovely. And then strat a duplicator. Or more projectiles going out. Because, uh, yeah. That's also a good thing. Because now we're at the minute mark. And that means more enemies. It just have better uh, health pools. Because that somehow equals to a uh, more difficult game. Even though I'd uh, argue that it just leads to a more grindy game than anything. Hmm. At least in my honest opinion. Oh well. What would I know? I'm not a game dev. Just somebody who plays video games. And yeah, so let's try the spinach. We get more damage. Again, I said it before, and I'll say it again. That's always a good thing in uh, these games. So let's see now, and hopefully not take any unnecessary damage. I so, because I keep walking into enemies, hoping for my garlic to just deal with them before uh, I end up uh, getting a game over screen. Oh boy! Oh hey. So, let's grab the magic wand. Oh yeah, I guess that was a horde of ghosts and not the, uh, smaller things that, uh, pop real easy if you walk into them with garlic. And I think there's an upgraded ghost in there, so... At least I think that's what the, uh, red means. Or maybe it's a walking loot crate. So let's see what's in there, if we can. And hopefully not die. Because, uh, yeah, not that one would be a good thing. 
So let's grab the Laurel. It has a more survivability, and that's the only reason why. Granted, it's a pretty good reason for getting that. Because uh, more survivability means a uh, longer game. Oh boy. And yeah, I think it was a guaranteed loot crate. Or chest. So let's try the garlic. Because, uh, yeah. Hmm. So let's just uh, try the enemies away so I can have an easier time collecting that chest. And hopefully not die in the process of getting in chest, because that would be a very stupid death. And I guess I found the treasure. So let's see what we get out of it. And it's a magic wand. Upgrade. So yeah. Yep, magic wand cooldown reduced by 0.2 seconds. So that's good. Because that means more damage. So let's grab the Darlet. Again, because more damage. So let's just uh, just stop around this map and hopefully pick up everything in terms of experience. So yeah, another darling. So that's now level four, I think. I'm reading that correctly. Or did we already have level 4 garlic and we just uh, upgraded it to level 5? Oh well. Oh hey. I don't think I've seen the inside of that building. So let's just uh, make our way inside. And hopefully get what's ever here. Which uh, was some experience and some gold. I don't think that one was worth it. Especially since I might just have cast it. Myself in there, although as soon as I say that, I managed to get out. So yeah, let's try the magic wand. We get more projectiles. And I guess uh, hopefully survive again. So let's see now. Anything in there? I think that's where I just came. Cause uh, yeah, there's nothing really there. Oh dear. Don't you just say that when a bunch of your enemies uh, just stand in a circle and then not keep you in there? Because, uh, yeah, you can just find a space to slip out from the traps. Which I think is a good thing. Hmm. So let's just hope we can survive this one. Which I think we should. Oh boy. So let's just grab that food for a heal. In other words, checking for crab billiard, please. That'd be nice. Hmm. I think these enemies are a bit on the strong side. Because they just uh, lost half my health. And they don't think they want to talk about it. So let's go in here, and there's nothing there. That was worth a shot. Anything in there? Nope, that's not the entrance. At least I don't think so. So let's just kite them around this building and get some of them stuck. Because, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that fence is physical for me. So I can not go through that. Because, uh, yeah, reasons. Oh, hey, I think that's another chest. And I spy with my level I. And I just, uh, almost died uh, from taking this chest. And let's see now. 
Hey, Nessie Laurel. Level 3 now. And I'm hoping for some, uh, changing for back later, please. Oh, boy. So, let's just drive over here and not get some, uh, heals. And again. So, I guess I'm over for 2. And that's... Ooh, hey! Chicken! That's how it's appreciated. Yes, game bar that, please. Oh, boy. And now we're on to the, uh, watching, uh... Thunderstorms, and I wonder what that one was. Maybe just some more luck. Oh, well. So, let's just stop around this map and kill everything in her path. Hopefully successfully. But oh well. So, let's uh, just uh, grab the duplicator, because that, that's at level 2, so that means you get more projectiles to gain. And that's always a good, good thing. Cause oh boy. Actually, let's go over to the torches and see about collecting them. And now they're all frozen, because I can just stand in here. And just kill it. Everything is frozen. And that's just neat. Until the end freeze and just, uh... I guess smarter your, uh, health. But at least there's a chicken for crack clear, and that's nice. So let's just stop around this map and hopefully not die. Cause that, that would be lovely. Oh boy. At least I'm cutting them uh, successfully right now. At the present. Unless I walk right into them. And yeah, I think we've lasted longer on this character than the last one. And let's grab a level up, so let's, I uh, guess, grab some more magic wand, because that's now level 10. Well, actually level 5, I think, if I'm not reading that one wrong. Oh, boy. So let's just make our way over to this kitchen for a earlier, and get some more health back, and take whatever that one is. So let's grab the garlic, because that's more damage. Oh yeah, that was a, uh, I guess a map wide magnet. So let's just walk our way through that, uh, gap in the enemies, because uh, I don't think they're bright enough to close those gaps. Oh boy. Actually, uh, I think those uh, sound effects might be a bit on the loud side, so let's just uh, turn them down. Like so. And now it's too quiet. And I think it's just right. So let's just walk around these uh, fires and collect everything. Unless it's chicken. Oh boy, that's what I didn't want to do. Thanks, game. But yeah, it's uh, kind of uh, using how I blasted laundry as this character did in the last one. Oh well. So, let's see now. I think we're going to try the King Bye. Ball. And see just how that is. And hopefully not die. Oh yeah, it just deals constant damage, which is nice. At least when it's out and about, like so. So yeah, I think I might want to try upgrading those. As uh, much as I can.
Oh boy, so let's uh, grab the Laurel. Because I think I might need some more survivability. Until I die. So yeah, I guess I was Vampire Survivor. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. So like and subscribe. And I guess, uh, yeah, bye.